Right now we have my dear friend and master trainer Jeff Greenberg on behalf of GenArts. Everyone, please, Jeff Greenberg. Hi, everybody. Let's just start off with this. Michael Horton says, I have 10 minutes before the giveaway. We all know Michael, we all know his career. And you see right there where it says, make sure I tell you about the gift. By the way, if anybody's got a timer, you can start your timers, because I'm going to be done in eight minutes or less, because we need to get to the giveaway tonight. Everybody's a winner tonight in Vegas. You don't know what I mean by that? Watch this. Gen Arts is taking Sapphire Effects and giving every person in this room six months of these plugins. They're over there, they need to hear you. What do you have to do to get it? Nothing. They're gonna send it to you via email. Now do I have your attention? Okay, so Sapphire 8 is, gets users in broadcast, in film, in advertising. In the last 24 hours, if you've turned on a television, you've seen some of their fine plugins work. These are 250 plus plugins. They're gonna work in a bunch of our tools. Sadly, not Final Cut 10, but please note there, Resolve, Nuke, Smoke, Media Composer, After Effects. I wanna focus here. I want to focus here because first and foremost, I am an editor. And I happen to love the way these tools make things pop for me. So most plugins work like this. You got this giant list here on the left. I love this shot. The one thing I would want to do with this shot, put a little bit of like a lens flare on it. It's just natural. And I'm going to have to go and grab the lens flare, drag and drop. And I can adjust the lens flare. Got a great UI here in the interface. But the problem is, is this isn't very visual. Let's see this a little bit more. I'm gonna go to another tool here. I'm gonna go to Media Composer. And here we got the Super Meet. Nice vignette here. This is a gorgeous real-time vignette for Media Composer. And I'm just gonna drag and put it right on this shot. There we go. Once again, I'm gonna get into effect mode in Media Composer. Oh, we're gonna go put it on a title. Did you know you can put effects on titles in Media Composer with GenArts? Don't hold down the Alt Option key. It's gonna destroy the effect. We get into effect modes. Look at this little switch. Bam, it's now working on a title on a matte media composer. So these are some of the things these tools do for you. But as I said, it's not very visual. This is the struggle, we're creatives, and we prefer to say, maybe see it like this in nice pretty pictures and backgrounds and adjustments, and it works right on our footage. So we're gonna go ahead, this is my daughter, and my wife shot this iPhone video, it's vertical. I want you to see, we're gonna take the S effect, we're gonna drop it on the shot. When we drop it on the shot in Premiere, I'm gonna go ahead and touch this button called Load Preset. And now we've got the builder, sorry, not the builder, the browser. We have the browser here, and I'm just going to go ahead and touch the adjustment category. And we now get in the adjustment category, my daughter in all these different views, a really visual way to work and imagine with effects. Now, I need some wings on this. I need an adjustment. You can go and type in a little bit of information if you wanted, or I can go click on the word utility, and I get just the utility effects. This one is iPhone to HD. It's gonna put wings behind her. We're gonna go ahead here, bring this up. We hit load, and now she's got that nice background. This is way easier than having to build it ourselves, and it looks so good. It's my daughter. Come on, aw. Good, very good. All right, I wanted to do a little bit more than even that. So, when we say that this works and you get 250 of the best lens flares and glows and creative effects, you really are gonna get infinite effects. You know what would make this better? Something like Legos, where I can make my own building blocks, where I could say I need this effect to do something more. So they include the effects builder. This effects builder is a compositor that works on nodes. This is a transition. It's going from a shot to a shot, and I'm gonna end up tweaking it a little bit for a better result. So here I am in Media Composer, and I'm gonna take the transition. It's one of their effects. We're gonna just put it right here. 
We're going to go ahead and get in effect mode. When we get into effect mode in Media Composer, this is going to give you so many more effects in Media Composer, so many gorgeous plug -in, I mean, uh, transitions. I'm going to say here, this time, edit effect. This is that node-based system I was just talking about. And it's just a straight dissolve right now. Now, there's a little switch in the top. I'm going to go ahead and press this switch. And this switch is going to open up that same browser we saw before. But now it's on transitions. And with it on transitions, I can start looking for some gorgeous transitions here. Um, I love this group of ones. These are TV channel changes. Isn't that incredible? And it's easy because they're all nice and visual and easy to find. I'm a film guy. I went to film school. I want to go and take a film transition. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. There's this nice look, looking film transition. But I need it to be a little bit green. My last name is Greenberg. So I'm going to go grab a tint. And I'm going to grab the tint. And I'm going to just put it between the output, the transition, and the result, just like this. And with that being set that way, I'm going to change the color to Right in. Green is always the right answer. All right, with that up, I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go ahead and play it here. We're going to say OK. We're going to see this inside of Media Composer. It's going to play back. It is a real-time effect in Media Composer, which is wonderful. I want to show you one more build of this, a little bit more complex in Premiere. I've got a blue matte background. Above this, I've got a woman on a green screen. We're going to go ahead and grab the S effect, put it on the background. There are these gorgeous backgrounds that you can put in this use, but also you can put text above this. I'm going to hit my load preset. Here are all my backgrounds. I'm going to go to this little one that's a grid over here on the right. There it is. Some of these are animated, like animated curtains. Gorgeous if you don't have that stock footage. And I'm going to just go here in Premiere's effect controls and just adjust the tilt just a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead. I've already got on the upper clip. This is a green screen. I've already got my key done. So all I'm going to do is throw Adobe's Ultra key there. And I'm going to grab, again, another Sapphire effect. So I'm going to grab that builder. I'm going to put it on that higher shot. Because I want something a little bit more artistic, a little bit more abstract. I'm hitting load preset. You have favorites. As you go through and you browse, you'll find some favorites. I found this gorgeous watercolor. It's going to apply just to her. It's this nice art on top of that background. I just want a little bit more pop, a little bit more saturation. So I'm going to open up the builder, go grab Hue and Sats, drag it here, put it in. Now we can adjust it here in, directly in Sapphire, in the builder. But I'm going to do this inside of Premiere, because it passes these across. And now I'm going to just go ahead and adjust her saturations, just so you can really see it. Just so you can, there you go, just like that. All right. So here we are uh, in Sapphire in their builder. Let's see if I got that next slide triggering. Anytime now. There, it's a visual infinite tool set. There's this gorgeous, easy to use browser for these clips. There's a builder to let you build your own. This is part of Sapphire 8. Every person in this room is going to be using it for the next six months. It works beautifully. It's easy to use. Uh, it's normally, uh, pricing is, uh, starts at $149 for three months. Uh, you should go see them tomorrow at SL5630. My name is Jeff Greenberg. I'm Jeff at J Greenberg Consulting. I'm on Twitter as Film Geek. You should follow me on Twitter. I hope you like this. Could you let Gen Arts hear one more time how much you like? And uh, I'm done in eight minutes.